What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Aquana. I'm 23 years old and this is a budget friendly channel. Today's video is going to be a cash stuffing and we're going to be stuffing a total of $701. Let's go ahead and count it together. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 100. What? 400 plus 100, 20, 40, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. For a total of $701. So first we're going to start off with my wallet. I do have some coins in here that I want to get rid of. Okay, so the only thing that has money is groceries. It still has $50 and that is gonna stay in there. Everything else is empty. And we're gonna start off with gas, which is gonna get $20. Groceries is going to get another 50. So it now has 100. Dining out is going to get 10. Personal is going to get five. I saw like a rip to five in here somewhere. Like all of them are ugly, but one of them was ripped. It looked like. Hmm. Maybe I'll take this one. I don't know why it looked like one of the fives was ripped. Oh, no, it is this one right there. Yeah. My bank always gives me the worst bills. I don't know how to, like, fix that problem. Like, I don't, I don't think there's anything I can do about it, really. Except maybe try a different bank, but... I mean, this one's by my house. Like, I don't want to drive somewhere far just to get better bills um date night is gonna get ten dollars household is also getting ten dollars and miscellaneous is not getting stuffed so that's it for my wallet. Next is gonna be my bills binder. Rent is gonna get 302. So one, two, three, one, two. So rent now has one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six hundred and four dollars. Utilities is going to get fifteen.
So it now has 10, 20, 25, 30. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but my ring light just died. You've probably seen it in the video. I don't know if, you, if you'll see it or if you won't see it, but my ring light died. So if the lighting is different, I'm sorry. If it bothers you, I'm sorry, but what can I do? Um, so next we have car insurance, which is going to get 172 So $150. Seventy one two. So now car insurance has one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, twenty, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, three, forty four in car insurance. I think that was right. That doesn't sound right. One, two, three, yeah, three forty four. I don't know why. That number seems wrong. It's correct, but like I know there's 344 in the envelope, but for some reason I'm feeling like there's supposed to be more in the envelope, if that makes sense. Um, phone bill is gonna get 15. So it now has 10, 20, 25, 30. And dental is going to get 28. 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need to make a payment. This envelope is for my dental treatment. And I already made a payment for this month, like I'm not behind or anything, but I just made like a minimum payment because I needed to put the money back in the bank, if that makes sense. But I didn't want to wait to put the money back into the bank to make the payment. So I still have the money. So basically I made like an extra payment. And now I have this money just sitting in this envelope. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just need to really take all of this back to the bank and make a payment toward that but dental has 20 40 60 80 90 100 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 112 dollars in dental and that is it for my bills binder Next is going to be my high priority sinking funds. Emergency fund is going to get $5. So it now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And then car maintenance is going to be getting $3. So it now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. $66 in car maintenance. Then we have health, which is getting $2. So it now has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, $39. Home is going to get $3. I'm so ready to get rid of this envelope because really this is like anything that I need for my house um, to like toiletries and stuff. But I already stuffed toiletries in my wallet, so I really don't need to stuff anything in this envelope. But I do anyway, because sometimes I need like 
extra money for toiletries and stuff and it's good to have it but i don't like the name of it i want to change the name of this envelope to something else and i want to make my home envelope like a savings for like a future house if that makes any sense so i'm not saying i don't need this envelope i just want to change the name which i'm definitely going to do when i redo my envelopes pretty soon but for now this envelope has one two three four five six dollars debt is just gonna have it's just gonna get a dollar i am just gonna put money in this envelope to build up for like extra payments toward my credit cards or my car payment whichever one i feel like i need at the moment so right now that has two dollars taurus season is gonna get two dollars so it now has four. New car is the only envelope that I'm not going to stuff. Uh, self care is going to get two dollars. It now has five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I know I told you guys that I recently got a new car, right? Just because it was something that had to be done, like, it was 100% a need. So, everything went well with my car buying process, or at least I thought it did. Like, I did my research, and, you know, when we went to the dealership, I didn't let them, like, play games with me. Date night is going to get $2.00. Right, so everything at the dealership went good. Um, well, on my behalf, at least everything went well, and this was the first time that I was going to be getting like a, a tag for car. Well, no, I needed to transfer the tag from my old car to my new car, which the dealership they made me pay for those fees for them to like do all the paperwork and whatnot. And I did not get a loan through the dealership. I got one through my bank. So I had to like bring a check from my bank to the dealership. And I basically like bought the car entirely from them. So, you know, how they have to like send you a title and stuff. They sent me the title instead of sending it to my bank. Stock up is going to get $2. So they sent me the title instead of sending it to my bank. Mind you, when I gave them the check from my bank, there were like a specific set of instructions of what they needed to do and like who they needed to put on the title. They did not follow those directions, which made me really upset because Stock Up has 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I like I didn't know that this was a thing this was my first time buying a car from a dealership so I gave him the instructions in the check and I thought everything was going to be fine and then like a week or two later I get the title for the car in the mail and I thought this was normal you know like okay so this is just saying that I own the car I guess you know I, I should have this it had my name on it and everything and then I get like a letter in the mail from my bank saying that I need to send them the title with them listed on it. And I'm like, okay, like, I mean, I can send you the title, but you're not on it. And I was confused, honestly, because like I said, this was my first time buying a car from a dealership. So I didn't exactly know how that process worked with like lien holders on titles and stuff. Beauty got $5. It now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So, yeah, I got um, a letter in the mail from my bank saying, hey, you need to send us the title with us listed as a lien holder. And I was super confused. So I called the bank and I'm like, hey, like the dealership sent me the title. Like I have it from the DMV, but you guys are not on it. So I'm not really sure why that is or like what I'm supposed to do. And it turns out that it wasn't something that I was supposed to do. It's something that the dealership was supposed to do and they just didn't do. Travel is going to be getting $5. So 
So because of that, I had to like get that reprocessed basically through the DMV. And I didn't know that I had to pay to do that. Or I knew that I would have to pay, but I was hoping that I didn't have to pay since I already paid the dealership to process the paperwork and they just made a mistake. So here I am, I'm like, okay, um, I'll just call the dealership and ask them if they can fix their mistake. Travel has 100, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 251 in travel. So I call the dealership and I'm like, hey guys, um, I don't know if you remember me, but I came in, I bought a car and I gave you guys a check and some instructions from my bank and it was just processed wrong, so I was like hoping that you can reprocess it for me. Already, they were a little bit off because they had been calling me to get like some tracker machine off of my car, which again, I feel like they should have taken that off the day that I bought the car, but instead they called me a few weeks later to try to get the machine and they are far from me. It's like an hour drive from me to this dealership. So also, the like department that has to be able to remove the tracking device they leave at five o'clock and i don't get off work until 4 30 at least like i'm definitely going to be there until 4 30 and probably a little bit afterwards so i'm like i'm not going to make it like it's an hour drive from me to you guys so unless you're gonna like you know be open on a weekend or if you're gonna stay a little bit later for me to make it then there isn't really a way for me to bring you this device Christmas is getting $4. So yeah, they had been calling me about that, but I had already explained to them that it's not going to work unless you guys like make it work, you know? So I call them now asking them to fix their mistake. And it just so happens that I took a day off work because I have like doctor's appointments and stuff. So I'm like, all right, I can come there that day like that day i'll be off work so if you really need the device like i'll bring the car up there and you can take your device off and you guys can fix the paperwork for me like this is a fair exchange you know like both of these are you guys's mistake but like in the end i'm the one that needs the paperwork fixed christmas now has 20 40 60 65 70 75 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 I counted that wrong. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. $108 in Christmas. All right. So I'm like, this is a fair exchange. I'll bring the car so you guys can get your device and you can fix the paperwork for me. So... I talked to the lady, the office manager, and she's like, yeah, we have to find the paperwork. I'll find the paperwork and then I'll get back to you. She was supposed to get back to me that same day and she didn't. She didn't get back to me until like two days later, which was fine because I was like doing my own work in the background, like just trying to make sure everything's covered on my end. Because if I didn't get this paperwork reprocessed and sent to my bank, they were going to raise the interest on my loan, which I definitely don't want. I forgot is getting two dollars and it now has four so i'm like okay she calls me back and then she's like we found the paperwork and i see like the instructions and what we were supposed to do but for us to fix it you're gonna have to pay like 86 dollars or 80 87 dollars or something like that she gave me like two different numbers for two different things but i'm like so i have to pay for you guys to reprocess the paperwork that I already paid you to process. Like, how is that fair? And she's like, well, we only just transferred the tag. Like, we didn't do the title or whatever. Which is like, I understand what she's saying. The fee that I paid in the dealership was specifically for the, the tag transfer. However, they processed everything to do the title. Like, they just did it incorrectly. So, there shouldn't have been a fee for that. In the first place because all they needed to do was like submit it to the dmv so i'm like okay she tells me it's 86 something or whatever that i'm gonna have to pay in order for them to fix it siblings now has three dollars and i'm like okay um i have to get back to you so i called the dmv 
and I asked them what their price was to transfer it. The same paperwork that I needed the dealership to do or I wanted them to do, I called the DMV and asked them how much it was to do that paperwork. And their price was probably like $15 less than what the dealership was charging. So at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go to the DMV myself and fix it. Uh, my envelope just got $3. That's all it has. And I have to make, like I made an appointment with the DMV and I paid the price for the DMV to adjust the paperwork so that everything can be good. But long story short, I, I can't say long story short because this was a long story, but now my point like where i'm at is i don't know if i even want to take this car back to give them back this tracker because i just feel like that is so unprofessional like you guys made a mistake and you're charging me or you tried to charge me to fix it and you didn't just try to charge me like the fees that it actually cost you added your own price to it like you added you marked it up so that you can make money off of it. And it's like, this was your mistake. This was what you guys were supposed to do to begin with. So it really just bothered me. And it sucks because I had such a good experience buying a car from these people because I think I had a good experience because I did my own research and I knew what I was looking for and I knew what to do. And I didn't let them play me. My boyfriend's envelope got $3. He now has 10 15, 20, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31. But yeah, um, I really don't know what to do. Like if I should even make the effort to drive up there and give these people their device, because that means I'm literally going to have to like take time off work to go up there and give it back to them. And I just feel like it's so unfair. Like I know life is unfair and everything doesn't really go as planned ever, but I feel like it's a mistake that they made and they really should have fixed and they shouldn't be trying to charge me and especially overcharge me to fix their mistake. Fun is getting $2. That's all it has. But yeah, like, I don't know. I guess go, going through the envelopes and then seeing the new car envelope like reminded me of this freaking horror story that I just went through when it really shouldn't have been a big deal at all. Clothing is getting $3. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, if you've made it this far in this video and you've actually listened to me ramble about this, uh, let me know what you think. Like, should I go up there? Should I make the effort and take out my time to go up there and give these people back their device that they should have taken off in the first place? Or should I just leave it alone? Because it's like, it's not my device. I don't care for it. It's not helping me or benefiting me or any way, but it's also not hurting me in any way. Annual got $5 and it now has 10. And I just don't know if I want to like put in any effort for real to take, to drive all the way an hour away to give them this tracking device when they couldn't even fix their own mistake. I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think. Technology is getting $2. And it now has one, two, three, four. Gifts is getting $2. That slowed me down, like trying to talk and stuff envelopes. It now has five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then Black Friday is getting $3. It should be the last $3. One, two, three. Perfect. And Black Friday now has 10, 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. One, two, $32. And that is it for this binder. And that's all for today's video, guys. Um, if you like this type of content or if you enjoyed listening to me rant, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.